only one episode. Mm. You know, there's only one Bob Marley. Mm. There's only one Kojo and she. So it definitely has to be one episode. Yeah. And that alone keeps me focused. And then I'm always channeling that energy into the pieces I create. So then the question is, I always ask myself, okay, 10 years from now, a decade from now, what will people um, remember you for? What mm. what will be the reference? Would you be the kind of artist where people say, oh, you're not there anymore? And I think it's just been a blessing that I've been here close to a decade mm -hmm. and still stayed relevant as an independent artist, you know, so yeah. You know, you, you, you just had to say you're an independent artist. Yeah. Why is it, why, why is it, you know, a thing that you need to, like you hold on to, are you, are you proud that you are an independent artist? Yes. You've done it all throughout the, these years. Yes. Are you looking forward to working with a label? Do you think you are really okay as you are and you have your full independence as an independent artist? So you know what, this is how I'm going to roll. I think I can dispute the fact that we need labels and, and different, you know, institutions to also get to a different stage, you know, because you're talking about the numbers, you're talking about big investments. And, and big deals so definitely you need those labels but I'm only proud about myself because um, if I'm still here and, and I'm also being compared to artists who are on labels it means mm -hmm. that the work I'm doing as an independent artist is really paying off mm. if I can still be here as an independent artist and we've had artists on bigger labels come and then they are not here anymore then it means that um, I took certain decisions which helped me the reason I'm saying that is you have most of these upcoming artists um, not well educated in that space so that they end up signing bad contracts you know mm -hmm. and then some of us didn't have that opportunity to be be very inclined in that space because if it happens like that do you even have the fans to to employ a legal practitioner to help you with that you know but we've been fortunate that yeah it's a blessing you're here and then you're doing it if the big labels come, why not? If it's something that I... Because I'm, I'm a type who... I take my, my craft to a different stage. In the sense that I don't want anybody to temper with my records or my, my craft. Mm -hmm. You know, every aspect from the creative side. And I think s most of the time artists go through that. You join labels and then you now change. And um, you are forced to change to suit a certain market. You know, but I've stayed true to myself and I believe that if I want to work with the label, the label has to first and foremost love me for being mm -hmm. me and then we can act and business. accept what you do exactly. as well. Exactly. So that it's not like you are changing your sound, you're exactly. changing what you do, you're still consistent yes. with your sound exactly. and, and your delivery. I see.